Hey guys, welcome to Stone Cam Live Streaming. My name is Amber, and it's such a great pleasure to have you here. Hope you can enjoy our showcase today. Also, I have my partner Lisa with me to show you one of our products in the newest series. Lisa, say hi to our friends. Hi everyone, my name is Lisa. It's my great pleasure to have you all here. Okay, so I guess lots of our audience may still have few ideas about our company. So could you give a brief introduction to StoneCam? Okay, of course. Uh, our company StoneCam is a high-tech company and we have been dedicated to the high technology for many years. We develop, manufacture and sell high quality products for drivers all around the world. And all we do is for driving safety. Thank you, Lisa. So let's jump to the point of our showcase today. Let's see, uh, in front of us is the product that we are going to present to you. It's a high definition monitor integrated with MDVR functions. The model number is HD148. So let's take a close look at this monitor. First of all, this monitor has a 9 inches high definition screen. So I guess it's quite friendly to the drivers. Okay, so let's turn it on. You can see uh, the images on this monitor is quite clear. Also, it features a touch screen. So it means it will be very easy to operate. You can be spelled from the troubles caused by the time worn buttons. Oh, got it. And uh, Amber, I have a question. So how many cameras can be connected to this monitor? Okay, so uh, the connectors comes from the uh, monitor will support four cameras at most. So you can monitor the inside, front, rear and the side view of the vehicle as you need. So Amber, sorry to interrupt. I'm wondering how many viewing modes in this monitor? Okay, so let's check what kind of viewing modes that this monitor can support. Uh, uh, Lisa, okay. help me. Yeah. Okay, so here we can see there are various kinds of viewing modes. You can see there will be a single view and also uh, here is a dual view and also the cold view. Uh, also there will be a, uh, even the H view. So you can choose based on what you need. For example, if you are reversing a car, then I, th I guess the single view will help you to operation. Uh, if you are driving a car, then I suggested that uh, a cold view will help you to check the surroundings of the vehicle. So for now, we have showing, showing you are the uh, basic functions of this monitor. Lisa, do you know anything unique about this monitor? Yes, of course. Do you know MDVR? Yes, I guess it stands for the Mobile Digital Video Recorder. And I know this uh, monitor has some basic DVR functions, but could you give me some ideas about uh, what the specific connection between these products? Okay, so actually the special part of this monitor is that it has some basic functions of the MDVR. We can use it for video recordings. Okay, let me show you the operation. Firstly, you can see these red LEDs are flashing. It means that the monitor is recording. And then, the video recordings will be saved to four SD cards. Let me show you. Can you help? Yes, can you help me? Yes, the four SD cards will be installed here and uh, you don't have to worry about the installation. What's more, you can also check the video playback. You just need to click here. Yes, you just need to click the recording date in green to select the file. Finally, I want to say that the storage of this monitor is very large, so you don't have to worry about the storage problems. Okay, Lisa, I have a question. Uh, if the SD card is full, will the mm. monitor just stop recording or else? Mm, you got a good question. Actually, our monitor will not stop recording even when the SD cards are full. The newly videos will override the existing ones automatically. 
Okay, so I guess this video recording function will be quite useful for the drivers since I know that most of the monitors do not have such function. Uh, is there a, a G sensor built in with these monitors? Since I know most of the MDBRs will have it. Yes, our monitor have G sensors. So if there is a potential crash with the front vehicles, our G sensor will be triggered to send out beeping noises to remind the drivers of the risk. And uh, at the same time, our monitor will be triggered automatically to uh, record events. Okay, let's simulate this situation. So if there is a crash from the front vehicle and the monitor vibrates, so you can hear the beeping noises to remind us. And you can see these are red lights. It means that the monitor is recording. Lisa, may I know how long this monitor will record when the G sensor is triggered? So actually, the default recording time of this video will be 10 seconds. And uh, there is a special place for alarm videos in the SD cards. So you don't have to worry about this important evidence will be replaced by other videos. Uh, well, I think that will be very uh, kind. Uh, will be very useful for the uh, drivers, since uh, you know sometimes the mm -hmm. alarm videos can be very important if some uh, accidents or crashes happened. Yes. And uh, apart from recording function and G sensor function, this monitor also have built-in Wi-Fi. Uh, okay, uh, can you show us how to do it? Of course. So please uh, let me uh, introduce the Wi-Fi function first. So because of the Wi-Fi function, we can use our laptop or our cell phone to connect the same Wi-Fi as the monitor. And then we just need to log in the website to check the real-time videos in the monitor. Uh, okay, let me show you the operation. So first of all, you need to prepare your devices like your cell phone or your laptop. And here we use my cell phone for example. So the first step, you just need to link the same Wi-Fi as your monitor. And then you just need to search the website in your browser and then log in, you will watch the real-time video recordings from the cameras. Okay, so with all of these DVR functions integrated with this monitor, uh, Lisa, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Who do you think will be our target audience? Or we say, uh, who will need it most? I think a lot of audience have the same question. So first of all, I think this monitor is suitable for those who need the recording function and the displaying function. And second of all, I think this monitor is also a good helper for people who don't want to have too complex functions in their products. No need for radar buses and uh, some other systems. Yeah, I got to what you mean. Mm -hmm. So I guess this monitor can help uh, people who want to have the monitoring and the meantime the recording functions, but they don't want to have an MDBR. Mm -hmm. So this can help them save some cost and also simplify the uh, installation and operation for them. Yes. Okay, so for now, based on what we have talked about, I guess it's very important for our company mm -hmm. to provide a product which can exactly cater to our user's need instead of a product or solution with functions that our users may not need in their actual usage circumstances. Mm -hmm. And this will add their cost. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to realize by designing this product. Yes, I totally agree with you. And uh, personally, I will prefer products that are cost effective and at the same time satisfy my actual needs. Okay, so for now, I guess all of you may have a general pick of our newest product, HD148. Mm. And uh, if you have any questions about this uh, HD monitor, or if you want to know more about our company, please don't hesitate to contact us, send us emails. Okay, so bye-bye, have a nice day. Bye-bye.